timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Oh, my oh no way, Ben, that's awesome. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. I've always wanted one. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. is an outrage! Oh, goodness. The Council would step in if the Dana. Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Mm. I know, Nally. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Ooh, we get clearance. I know That's it's an amazing game. Well, what was it? I think two would come out. And I was playing uh, Age of Conan. I was really heavily into it, but I'd hurt my back so I couldn't sit at my desk. I was kind of couch slash bedridden for like four months. And um, one of my friends kept telling me, you need to try out Mass Effect. I know you'd love it because you love Dragon Age. Because I've played Dragon Age probably 27 times. I know, at least 27 times. And, um... So finally, I was like, fine, I'll give it a shot. So I got um, two. I got Mass Effect 2. And I played through it, and I loved it so much that I made Kane go back to GameStop and get me the first one. <laughs> and then I played through one and two, and then I was like, oh my god, three! So I got the collector's edition of three. I loved it so much. <laughs> Welcome to Exidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, yeah, it did. It really, really sucked. It was so bad. And it turns out I finally made it into the doctor, and um, they did, like, x-rays and stuff. It turns out that I just needed to see a chiropractor, no joke, and then do some physical therapy to keep my spine in place. That was it. It was very painful, though. I know, poor Kane. I mean, can do all sorts of things for me. <laughs> all right, where are we going? 
Presidium. Citadel Tower. Oh, it's okay. I think he picked it up on his way home from work. If, I, if I'm not mistaken. I've been trying to get him to play it. And I got him to play three for a little bit. <laughs> this is true. He asked me to marry him. He knew full well what he was getting into. I think the day that he asked me to marry him, I had, like, binge played Dra or Diablo 2. So, Oh, and I think Sims 2. So he, he knew what he was getting into. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hi, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. Oh, Vicarian. I'm going to be Mrs. Vicarian. <laughs> Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin. Head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Lindsay Juggler 90, thank you for the host! <laughs> How are you? All right, see you later, Garrus. You sexy, sexy Turian, you. Oh my god, I wish I could romance all the things. I don't know if that's possible. Well, okay, so my options are here. All right. All right. So we could go totally, whatever, doesn't matter. Renegade, Paragon. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of choosing the options that come straight to mind. However, I am thinking, I'm trying to decide who I'm romancing here. Because either, my options are, I don't romance Jack Diddley Squattledge on this one. Like, psh, nobody. Because I don't like nobody. I'm busy saving the world. And then I hit up Garrus hard in 2 and 3. Or... I go for Caden and one, pick somebody else in two, go to three, then he'll be all mad at me and it'll be okay because I can do whatever I want because I'm Commander Shepard. Don't be ridiculous. The bonus won't be joining us in years. Excuse me. You so Andromeda, you have more room. Oh. Hey. oh, that's so exciting, Nelly. I'm like so excited. I haven't even seen the stupid game anymore. Now I wish I had it. I don't have it. I just uh, I just got my subscription again this week. The hearing's already started. Come on. But my question is, do we get to import our data from here in Andromeda? The Geth I know that we're not the same person. Concern, but there is no <laughs> was involved in any way. <laughs> The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. I don't like you. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Whoops. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. Wow, he's acting You're like we're a the bug. Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. That's right. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Blam! This meeting has no purpose. Everybody gets tasted the, the bitch are wasting pudding. your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. 
Ah, oh, do we have to talk theory. about this vision? We may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? That's How useful word. Defend my innocence against the this kind of testimony. Oh, okay, okay. Our judgment must I didn't be based know. on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like that or not. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. See, I had no idea. I know nothing about Andromeda, mostly on purpose. It was I a tried mistake to avoid bringing it. you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. And just bringing Things on went bad. Came in for the news. Real bad. You're a little overprepared. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. You will fight Eastern. Oh no, I'm good with this being over. We can't follow Shepard forever. So, I mean, I'm happy that we're we're still in the Mass Effect universe, but we're playing someone else. It's kind of like how how Dragon Age is, and I love it that way. Because you still get to kind of see the other people, like in 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 uh, Inquisition, you still see Hawk, and you hear about you know the Warden and stuff. So I like that kind of stuff. So I was just wondering if it was the same way in Mass Effect or, you know, whatever. Because I knew it was somebody else, which I'm totally good with. Because we can't follow Shepard forever. Shepard's eventually going to die. Or already is. Who knows? Maybe we'll see Liara. Oh my gosh, Ben. So true. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? Yeah, what about Garrus? He's arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Ugh. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that either. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Let me turn this. the videos that cover the information. Sure! Sounds good! You can, like, whisper it to me or something, and I'll, 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 I'll read it later. Because I really don't know much, and I don't want too much, you know, like... I kind of went into Dragon Age Inquisition blind, so I couldn't be disappointed, you know? However, I want to know enough going into it that, you know, I'm not let down or, or have different expectations. Does that make sense? Who knows? Hey, you know what? Your autocorrect really loves you. <laughs> you can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. Aww. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Yeah. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? Yeah. About 20 years ago, <laughs> I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. Blam. 
I know how the world works, Kamal. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. Correct. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. Ooh, they're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. Ooh, they see something that's in you. Creepy. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. To go. Good luck, Shepard. I'm done. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. I don't need Jack Diddley Squat, Captain Anderson. What? Hi, Kaden. <laughs>